Oh, hey. Cool. Look out. I think I hit the button too soon. Mm. One moment. I didn't have any technical difficulties last night when I didn't have anybody joining me. Murphy's Law, right? Okay. Today I'm going to make a Doctor Who dolphin card. Hopefully I can do it real quick. I've already cut out this TARDIS on my Cricut Explorer. And then I have a dolphin stamp. So my idea is to do this sort of technique, but with blue. And then do the stamp the dolphin and uh, cut him out and do the uh, TARDIS. So I, cut, I did all these last night in that very long video. The only thing I did this morning um, was cut out what I made last night. So we've got the teacups from the Close to My Heart stamp of the month. And then this is a retired stamp and this is from another stamp of Close to My Heart. And I just did some gradiated watercoloring last night. But I did finish this card before I ended that very long video when everybody was asleep. Now this didn't turn out at all, um, but that's okay. It'll look okay with being die cut. It'll make a cool pattern to it. Um, but this did kind of turn out pretty cool with the roses. So I kind of like that. This part's not so great, but this bottom part's all right. I could use it for something. I usually don't waste anything. So I'm gonna just get started. All I did this morning was go ahead and cut my paper to be a a um, little smaller than four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's a standard A2 size card is a four and a quarter by five and a half. So all I did was cut it to be just the one notch smaller. That's all I did. I'm going to take my close to my heart watercolors. And they have been well loved and well used but are still going. I'm just going to do a quick wash of color. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little water on the card quickly. A lot of person I had left, I guess. My technical difficulty uh, didn't help, so I'm sorry about that. You're watching our replay. Thank you for watching. Okay, so yesterday I did a lot of um, changing up colors. Today we're just going to go for it. Um, we've got these three blues that are similar enough, and I say roll with it. I don't have as much time today to play as I did last night, so make sure I'm on camera or in frame or whatever you want to call it. even really need a whole lot of expensive supplies or anything doing this technique. I mean, you need the watercolor, but you could do this watercolor with any kind of watercolor. I just like close to my heart products. I already had them, so. Okay. This is literally just slapping on color. color to the next color and I'm not taking as much as the dark. Dark, dark. There we go. Nice wash of color. Because we want to be able to see the TARDIS. So I'm going to take a little bit of water. I'm going to go into the lightest color. I should do that sort of sky blue. And I'm just going to make sure that those colors blend better. They're blending pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Um, looks like I got a bristle in there, but it won't make any difference at all. Okay. Maybe we should put some splatter in the card. Maybe it could look like it's raining. No, we're going to leave it as is. <laughs> Sometimes you can go a little bit nuts, but that's all right. Um, Okay, so I'm going to set this to the side of the dry. And I'm going to get my stamp set out. I already had it out, but anyway. 
It is this um, Hello Paradise stamp set. We're going to use the dolphin there and we're going to use the waves from that. Okay, and our dolphin should be he should be gray. I have a piece of scratch paper sitting around. I've also got that watercolor paper. I think it'll stamp okay on that watercolor paper. I'm just gonna try it. Um this is cut out from the teacups earlier. We're just going to ink him up real good. Okay, and what I like to do, because I, I don't pay much attention when I'm going in a hurry, is I just wipe the sides off with my fingers. And let me get that little mat to stamp. It'll be a better image. Oh, he's perfect. Now, um, that was our Slate Ink by Quicks to My Heart. And I'm going to take a little bit of the gray that was in that watercolor set, and I'm going to give him a little bit of detail on his stripe. I'm also going to give him a little detail around where I stamped. The stamp turned out perfect, but this will make him come alive a little more. And I did use watercolor paper, so we might as well use watercolor paper. I'm using this uh, gray. It's the number 25 here. We're going to put a little more around his mouth. Go over that stripe again. I just didn't want it to be white. His eye, I can put a, um, one of those little itty bitties, um, what do you call it? Gems. Like a gem. It's, but it is called itty bitty. I'm not sure, but it's called itty bitty something by Close My Heart. Um, and I have that, and I will get that. So I'm going to cut this out. Usually I go around my cutouts with a black pen, but I'm thinking the little extra white's making him look more like a dolphin. And where I colored over him, I'll show you in a minute, but it's made him have little spots on him. In Hawaii, when, when I went to Hawaii, um, went to Maui, and there was a um, 
boat ride and the dolphins were swimming in the front of the ship and it was so much fun. Okay. There he is. He's adorable. I'm gonna go get that bitty thing for his eye. Rook would have it. It's not where I thought it would be. That is no matter. I mean, it really doesn't have to have that. I could add a dot of liquid glass and it would be just as good, probably. Oh, okay. I found something that will work, actually. These. I think I bought them in Hobby Lobby. Cool. There we go. That gave him a little pop. He's so cute. Okay. So, yes, I believe I got these at the Hobby Lobby. When I do my um, craft room tour video, that's I. <clears throat> what I ended up doing is making things for Doctor Who, uh, the Doctor Who convention. And uh, <clears throat> of course, I cleaned and then I'm in a big mess doing that. So it's time to do uh, some more cleaning and then I will show a video on that. Okay. block and he's still got my teacups on him no matter I kind of did that way and oh, I've got my big block and I want my I think we're gonna go well <clears throat> Sapphire is more of a, is a good Doctor Who color. I think I'm going to go with this Lagoon. You can kind of put it over and you can tell. It should look pretty good in there. And my stamp set just fell. I was going to do that darker. Dark, dark, dark color, but I don't know. Okay. Alright, I'm not going to do it again. Maybe I'll add some sapphire to him. So I kind of mix two colors together. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. It's going to go with the look I'm going for a little more. i got to be careful not to go back because I got ink all over the... <clears throat> okay. I'm wiping that off. I don't know if you saw my stamping. I didn't condition this before, I just went for it. So, he may need another. He turned out okay, actually. Of course, he did have. Okay. I think I'm going to go over it with this crystal blue. I go to the end this time. So 
It's the end wasn't stamped the last time. Ink to me. the dimension it gave. Okay, you can see how the stamp's inking up better now because it is seasoned. I did that thing where I stamped all over the place. I love that color. some second generation, third generation stamping there. And then I'm going to go back with the glacier because I really enjoyed the other color that was involved. Yeah, that's pretty. Maybe I'll add that lagoon. Go over the lagoon in the where I did the second dark of the sapphire. It's hard not to do things with Lagoon. I just love that ink. It's one of my favorite colors. I don't know. I think I like the name. Lagoon. Okay, I'm going to do some generation stamping. It's just blending everything out pretty good, actually. Alright. I just added some of the watercolor over what I just stamped. And it totally looks fine, so that's cool. Right? You can tell where some of the things happened, made a little um, variation. I'm just gonna drag it along here a little. It's starting to look a little bit dreary here and it's supposed to be a sunny, happy, beautiful day. So. Got into the side color. I love how this is now bleeding up in that fashion. Anyway, I'm weird. I like, well, I guess I'm not super weird, but anyway. I like certain weird, I like different things. I'm different is what I am. Okay, so now we have our dolphin and we have our TARDIS. And we kind of want it to look like the dolphin is pulling the TARDIS on its back. Yeah, we're going to go like that. And I'm going to use my bonding memories from Close to My Heart, I believe, just to put... Well, I know it's from Close to My Heart, but I think that's what I'm going to use just to... 
put a little, this is this, it's a pin. It's got a nice chisel tip. I just wanted to position it so it's Need a happy birthday stamp set, and I have one somewhere. <clears throat> yes, I do. It's sort of Disney inspired. Okay, where is the little boy? That's the thing about being live on Periscope. You can't edit out when you have to talk to yourself occasionally. Um, I don't even see the other stamp that I had. And let's think of a color we want to do. Maybe we'll do a poppy color. Oh, I found the other one. I found the bigger one, but I didn't find the smaller one. The smaller one would do better. You can actually use a bigger block for a small stamp. It's just a little bit harder to do because you've got to make sure you don't ink up around the edges. So I'm just going into the poppy ink. And again, they changed the design of... Um, the ink pads with close to my heart, so I haven't got any of the new ones yet. Let you stamp it down. All right. So we have our card finished. All I have to do now is adhere the dolphin and the tortoise to the card, and I'm going to do that with some foam tape. Okay, let's see how that looks with a little dimension. still drying. All I have to do now is stick it on a card base. I have my card base already cut out. Just bought a box of heavy weight and these um, cards and these are with A2 envelopes and they're smooth white and they're made by the company um, Daris and um, I believe I bought those at Walmart. Yeah, that's not one to stick, but I think it's because it's still a little wet. Okay. And usually, you don't put it down while it's wet. But we're in a big hurry today. I have to go to work after this. Ooh, there's a little shimmer in the water. I'll go back over and probably put some glossy accents on it. That's going to make it look watery. Wet. Well, I 
actually. I have some like this. Oh, that's a little color. I have my shimmer pen from Close to My Heart. I could put on there. That'd be pretty as well. Let's. So I don't have anything blue, and I guess my white, my clear is not round of the Tattered Angels. No matter. Okay, well that's going to look really good. My base gets some water on it somehow. to show when I edit this video uh, for YouTube. I have to show it on there because this is what happened to my tape gun last night. It's popped off the thing and it's been driving me crazy. I'll just use this starting memory stick. It will work just as good. I just want to use a lot of glue, that way <clears throat> it won't, the card kind of, the uh, watercolor paper kind of naturally warps, so putting um, lots of glue will make sure it holds down and gets flat again. I cut it small enough to leave a border around the whole thing. <clears throat> I may have put some of the heavy on it because it was not wanting to stick. But there you go. The card is complete. Thanks for watching. You can follow me at www.fromtheheart.blogspot.com or you can follow me at my YouTube channel, which is also called From the Heart. And that is F-R-O-M-M, -M, the heart. If you want to find me, and there is my name. Melissa from. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.